Hey folks, and welcome back to my playthrough of The Surge. Uh, you will see that I have made some changes since the last time. I am wearing a fully tier 2 set of what's known as the Liquidator <coughs> armor. Uh, this armor is operator class, so lower impact, uh, high speed and stamina. <clears throat> but uh, the big thing about this set is that when you're wearing the full set you get additional elemental defense and you'll see my elemental defense is at 137 but crucially and oh also I've uh, swapped over to the MG Ignis uh, staff from the cobalt control rod but <clears throat> a crucial thing that it doesn't really tell you you'll see I'm standing in the environmental stuff here and taking no damage so it says increased elemental defense but even if you get that elemental defense with another set uh, you're still not going to have that uh, complete resistance to environmental effects there are other sets I believe that do the same thing uh, with giving you that resistance but it's it's not to do with the actual defense stat itself now we're gonna come over here Uh, this is it. Uh, oh, come on. God. Damn. All right. I do have energy injectable on so maybe I can still do what I want to do all right so come down here overcharge this and there is our next boss arena which is going to be the fire fire bug endurance enhancer that should be a injectable that are not injectable but a implant that gives me uh, <clears throat> extra stamina now we can open this door which gives us a way back here I don't honestly find that particularly useful for um, this boss fight the elevator is a better shortcut but it does come in handy later now I am going to try this with the liquidator set because this boss does use fire damage which uh, the increased elemental resistance is nice I'm gonna make a run of this I don't know if it's gonna work out for me alright so Lockdown in operation. hard mode for this fight phase one pretty much the same. Damn. Already off to a terrible start. So, phase one is the same whether you're trying to do hard mode or not. Oh, goody. Uh, oh, nope. Terrible job. Alright, so <laughs> let me try explaining this now that I'm already dead. Alright, so phase one of this fight 
is the same whether you're doing hard mode or easy mode. Um, for the remember, safety at work first part, priority. all you're really going to do is target a leg, get in there and hit it. Um, I was trying to do a thing where you slide in, hit, and dodge out, and I was just doing a terrible job of managing that. But get in there, hit the leg, and then when he's stunned for a second, you can do a quick uh, charge attack, or just do a charged attack, and you'll break off one of his legs. Um, when you've broken off enough that he can no longer stand on them, then he will uh, start to fly everywhere. And that's where phase two starts and where the hard mode attempt starts. So for hard mode, you have to keep destroying his legs. Come on. Come on. There we go. So for hard mode, you have to keep going for his legs. The problem is, he's going to keep those legs behind him. And he's going to do a lot more things that are going to have you wanting to not be there. Should be one more leg, I think. Easy mode, once you've destroyed the legs enough that he starts to fly around, yep, here we go, there's going to be a piece that drops down in the center, and the easy mode strategy is to target that right there. <clears throat> instead of the legs because you'll deal a lot more damage. Um, oh. He's also going to start doing that spin attack when you're close instead of the slam. Sometimes. Uh, not all the time because you just saw he did do the slam. Uh, he's going to do that which, if you're right in front of him when he does it, will hurt a lot. Oh, I'm probably about to lose this. Because he will set you on fire pretty effectively. Like that. And then the charge. Alright. Uh, this is not an easy fight, I'm sure you can tell. But general idea is there. Um, when he does this, when he starts flying and he does a spin charge where he spins all of his legs and chases you, just sprint away. Um, you're not really there's, you can't really dodge it. It's too fast. You just have to run from it. Um, why don't I have? I feel like I should have more than three heals at this point. Extra stamina, not really going to help me. Extra energy, not really going to help me. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I should have more heals, but I don't have another vital inject. Maybe I'm missing one. Or maybe I'm thinking about the one you get from doing good, bad, and the augmented. It's been a while since I played without doing the DLCs. 
Um, so, yeah, it's just a matter of uh, getting in, destroying his legs, and then for hard mode, you have to destroy all legs before killing him. Contamination detected. Lockdown in operation. Initiating disposal measures. Oh, come on, that is... Please remain stationary during cleanup procedure. Oh, what is... Oh. I'm doing a terrible job of this. Oh, come on. Yeah. Terrible job of this. Mm-hmm. That was a shit run. And you notice I didn't bother picking up my tech scrap. 744 is not really enough to be bothered by it. Um, also, I was kind of hoping there's a bit of a regen effect. Um, if you don't pick up your scrap and you're fighting near it, you regen health. It's not major, but I thought it might help. Um, did not. So, I'm going to try doing this fight without talking. Um, trying to talk and play at the same time always messes me up. So, I'm going to try being quiet about this. Hmm. Also, I've got a terrible fucking headache right now, which is not helping me. Contamination detected. Lockdown in operation. Initiating disposal measures. Please remain stationary during cleanup procedure. Oh, come on. Where's my lock on? Really? Got me. Oh, really? The fire? 
I really thought my elemental defense would be enough there. Alright. I don't think the liquidator set's going to work for this. So. There. We're going to go for higher impact because that will... Oh! Really? Really, you shit? Suddenly, so good at hitting me. Okay. Oh my god, what the fuck? It's probably because I swapped from an operator set to a mix of heavier gear. <sighs> Come here, bitch. Dude's pissing me off. <clears throat> yeah, it's probably because I swapped to the heavier set. Mm, shouldn't make that much of a difference, but still, but damn. Alright. Now I'm gonna go up and over, because otherwise I have to run through all that stuff, which is not good. But anyway, the higher impact um, should help me get his legs off faster. Oh. Nope. Also, um, mm. boy, this is not a good start to this. Contamination detected. Lockdown in operation. Nope. Initiating disposal measures. Please remain stationary during cleanup procedure. Oh, come on. Lock on is not your friend in this fight, by the way. I don't know how it determines which leg it goes back to after he does the spin, but it's shit. It's absolutely a shit method. Really? Don't! Now there is another trick you can do here. Um, I'm not using a particularly heavy impact, high damage weapon. Uh, if you do, 
This is a little bit easier, actually. Oh, come on! Yep, there we go. Oh, I swear I should have more than three heals right now. I don't want to use plasmic regenerators because they suck so much. But I may have to. Alright, let me... What have I got? Oh, well that was a waste. Yeah, I can't get any levels. Alright, let's see. I want to keep that on. That's not doing me any good here. That one is not really working for me. Which means I don't need energy gain. So I'm gonna throw on a whole bunch of plasmic regenerators. Have a nice day, Warren. Just basically go all in on regenerating so hopefully I can keep my health up problem is regenerate the plasmic regenerators are so slow which is kind of why I don't like them but no oh well. Just gonna sprint. Fuck it. I'll take some damage from them. Ooh, that was way more damage than I wanted to take. I forgot. The more longer you continuously take that damage, the more it does. But yeah, you can see there. It's just the regenerators are such a slow way to restore health. Like, they restore a significant amount, it just takes forever. Contamination detected. Lockdown in operation. Initiating disposal measures. Please remain stationary during cleanup procedure. Come on, asshole. There we go. Now for the hard part. One leg.
Here, don't go in, don't go in, don't go in. Oh, sorry. Two leg. Come on, give me that other one. Alright. There's all those legs. Now, the weird thing about that is you'll now notice he's got no legs to hit me with up close. Or to do his spin attack. So he's down to nothing but these fire attacks and that slam. But that is, this is actually the hard mode, I promise. Hope. Nope. I am not dying to your ass now. There we go. Alright. That's how you kill Firebug. And we now have the Firebug V2. It is a low impact, high attack speed, high scaling, low energy gain. Uh, fire damage twin rig. Now, I will admit twin rigs have a cool moveset. And this one has a unique L1, L1, L2, or R1, R1, R2 right there where it does an AOE attack and then the R2, R2, R1 does an explosion and launches you back. So if you're going to use a twin rig, it's one that I really recommend. I don't care for twin rings. I prefer the staff move set. But <clears throat> as things go, it's a pretty good one. All right. Now that we've taken care of Firebug. Fuck that thing. God, I hate it. Um, let's see. This is... Some material depot. I don't actually remember exactly which way to go. I know there's some stuff to grab around here. this I don't think this is the way forward we finally found our little thief it's probably the same culprit who's been hitting the lab storerooms she ended up dropping a purloined biomaster in a hurry to get away looks like she was heading towards the old abandoned labs I'll file a full report when I get back security can handle this one from here on out Maybe this is the... Oh yeah, this is the way forward. So what did that other one take? Oh, I know where the other one took me. Never mind. That was a way back. Right, I want to go this way first. Because this is going to be a shortcut. Yep. Alright. Yeah. 
right, so this is where we fault firebug. And that that seems unnecessary to have that, but um, this game does involve revisiting areas later. Um, so you will come back this way. Oh, what am I missing from the scarab? Uh, head and leg. Bitch, come here. This is back. Yep. All right. I know where I'm at. <clears throat> this is. Yeah, this is another shortcut back. Again, don't really understand, but whatever. This game is big on giving you shortcuts in different ways around. Come on. Yeah. Only reason I'm doing this is I want his leg. Oh no, this dude's in liquidator. Damn it. Thought he was in Scarab like the other guy. Oh well, I'll have another opportunity to get Scarab later. But I thought that's what I was after there. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, also right here I picked up the Biomaster. It is another staff weapon. Uh, you can see medium impact, medium attack speed, low proficiency, 25% energy gain. It is sort of an improvement over the cobalt control rod, but it's not as good as the M or the Ignis. It does kind of look cool though. But yeah, I'm just gonna stick with the Ignis. <clears throat> uh, prior to the free Fire and Ice DLC pack, which is what the Ignis comes from, uh, if you don't have that free DLC, I do recommend downloading it. Uh, yes, there are enemies that it creates that are really tough. Because um, fighting somebody who has the specialty weapons is difficult because they all use unique movesets and hit hard. But there's just, I can't give you a reason not to have the free DLC pack. Like, these weapons are great, and it doesn't cost you anything. Alright, Don. Let's be honest. Over the last couple of decades, things haven't been too great. We know. We've seen the figures. And that's why we created Project Resolve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, so I don't want to say that listening to him is pointless, 
it's not. He actually, like, there's a lot about, like, the environmental storytelling here in this game that I seriously would recommend anyone actually playing to, for the first time, to watch, because, damn, it, it goes places. It goes some serious places. They made some choices with this game. But it's not really um, important to what I'm doing currently. Uh, I don't think. I know this is a shortcut you get later. I don't think there's anything in any of these boxes. There's another testing chamber for good, bad, and augmented DLC. Uh, and over here is your op station for this area. Warning, this is a quarantine zone. Please remain in operations until all potential sources of danger have been eliminated. So, this communication device is locked down. All lines are locked. that yet? I'm freaking out here, Doc. Security is everywhere, but there's no change in the workers. It's still chaos. If anything, it's getting worse. I'm gonna try and make a break for one of the loading bays. Hopefully, I can get out. Uh, best of luck, Doc. Yeah. Let's see. I want my Omni Audit back on. Oh, there it is. <sighs> Still only had three vital injections. I swear I should have more by now. Alright. Gonna put back on my... Do I need the energy gain? Not with this one. I do think I'll use mm, extra energy? No. Maybe I'll throw on the. Yeah, I'll throw on the stamina. And then I'm going to swap this one out for the improved one I just got. Because <sighs> it looks like I'm going to have to use regenerators for now. Uh, so, Victor 3, uh, when you get injectables of a different upgrade level, so Victor 3 instead of Victor 1, they do not stack here. So when you're swapping between them, if you're using uh, different Victors of the same type of injectable, you'll actually have to scroll through all of them individually, which is annoying. Mm -hmm. Let me see, what have I got to craft with? Eh, not really worth crafting right in a second. But... <clears throat> So, that is it. That is Firebug. This is the next area. We will pick up here in the next episode. Until then, y'all be good to yourselves and take it easy.